Okay, video number two, talking about Sky's trim. It's just excellent material to review for anybody that's interested in um, trimming hooves or learning how to trim hooves or understanding what's good and bad about uh, a particular hoof. So next thing I want to talk about is quarter flare. Um, and essentially it can um, lead to a, uh, a sort of rotation of the capsule um, a little bit. In some cases it can be quite a bit, but in, in, in others it can be just a little bit. I've dealt with a few that have been quite a bit and you're constantly trying to balance things back to get to a point where the, the capsule itself, it's, let me see if I can, on my whiteboard again. Um, if we, if we imagine, let's see. Uh, it's gonna be kind of weird, but I will explain this. So we're looking at the bottom of the hoof and this is the hoof wall. And if we had an X-ray, we'd kind of see inside and this is the coffin bone. The wall should mirror what the coffin bone is sitting there in there as. So coffin bones are pretty, eh, they're kind of, they got a bit of a point to them, maybe a little bit more like that. But the, the wall should look the same. What happens sometimes is you'll get a, uh, a hoof that will kind of come out like this and then come in like that and it'll be off a little bit sort of rotated around the skeletal structure a lot of the work that is done effectively is from the bottom so when i'm trimming i'm looking to see if i'm trimming to the bottom of the foot well it's not healthy I don't know exactly what it leads to when that happens I think that they just get unbalanced and um, it becomes hard on the joints mostly but I don't know if there's any been been any real studies what we don't want though is for that to continue because some get really twisted and they just appear rather uncomfortable uh, if we imagine sort of if we had a foot that sort of sat off to the side in comparison to where our ankle is kind of thing and you were constantly walking you'd sort of end up walking on one side and the other side would sort of do this and then you it would end up still twisting further so the whole joint um obviously gets uh, probably painful um and these horses will present in a way that their um, their breakover point on the bottom, um, which Sky had a pretty good one, but uh, I think one of them was a little off center. Inside, you can see how I'm doing my best to match up with what the sole is telling me to do to his wear marks are telling me to do. Give him a nice little bevel there. Yeah, my mini nippers are. I've uh, put the link in a couple other streams. I'll try to remember to put it in this one as well, but they're a Japanese brand of bonsai cutters, to be honest. Uh, actually, for that example, we can, if we were to, if I were to draw the hoof wall on a sort of more rounder hoof, it might kind of look like that. Maybe kind of, maybe a little bit rounder, but one that's sort of worn its own toe off will be a little more like that, where you've got these longer pillars here and here, um, and there'll be a flat front. But one that's really, really off, they'll come around, this will be reasonably flat, or, or round, and then this over here will be sort of flat, and it'll be way off. So this is more centered, generally more centered to the skeletal structure, and we're hoping that this will come back to here. So what Sky has on one of his feet, especially more than the other, is um, 
a flared quarter that goes quite a bit out. And there's been some there's been some talk and some studies on whether or not um, uh, uh, horses that sort of more chronically like that require that for support. But the other way to look at it also is that it is a um, a deviation of the hoof wall that can lead to further chronic problems. So the answer is how to kind of manage that and keep it balanced. So in his case, um, the, uh, the, the quarter wall, so we'll just quickly draw that out. Just the quarter, mainly just the quarter wall. So if I were to draw out sort of how his hoof, it would come out like that and then come in and then he'd have his normal wear and this would just come around normally. But this part here should be more in line like that. And the temptation for these types of flares is to really shave them right off. Um, but I try never to do that. I try to sort of um, not shave off a big amount because I believe that, and I've I fixed many of them, so my I think my bully structure is quite accurate. Uh, that to completely weaken the whole wall on that side actually causes it to go out even further. So the idea is to really maintain and look for an imbalance left to right, because likely you're going to have a problem with where the breakover is anyways. Um, so fixing the balance in a more timely manner can have, because essentially what we're looking at um, if we were to look from the side, I'll use a different color here, but if we look from the side, if, if say, um, up here is the coronet band and down here is the bottom of the hoof, um, what happens is, is the, the wall grows down like this kind of straight and then it deviates outwards like that and flares and maybe this side is normal straight. So if looking at the front of the hoof, we sort of get this bell in a way, shape pattern. And so if we go ahead and weaken all of this, then uh, by thinning it, then it likely, because they're already sort of leaning on that side a bit, then they end up sort of peeling this off even more and more and the flare just is exasperated. Rather than do that, just a nice clean bevel while balancing out the rest of the hoof should reduce or at least not make this worse. So that's an important item. I thought I would bring that up. Um, quarter flares are reasonably common, but we don't want them to continue whatsoever because they end up um, uh, creating bell feet and uh, um, it's hard to catch it sometimes. You, sort of, you see it and it kind of starts to fade away um, into just a straight long flare. And uh, um, we, we, want the, we want the wall to stay connected all the way down to the ground. So hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. And uh, if not, of course, hit me in the comments below and we'll um, take it from there. I might do a follow-up video if this has been confusing, but there's another item in the, uh, the trim of um, Sky's feet that I think uh, could be talked about a little bit more because I see that reasonably often, <laughs> but uh, 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 not a lot of awareness in the area. I think people, there, there's much more concentration with the toe and the heel is doing something, but the quarters are important too. So hopefully that helps. If not, <laughs> let me know uh, and I'll cover a little bit more. So thanks for watching. See you guys next time.